So I'm the founder of a initiative I like to call Rosie Collis Technologies, and uh, thanks to Youth Venture and Ashoka, I've been able to really bring my project to life here. And so what I really aim to do is give solar panels for everyone. And how this works is I've been really interested in um, science and engineering since the age of three. And when my dad um, told me when I was younger that, okay, I'm a girl, that's, that's no big deal. I can still do something to make a difference. And I really wanted to emphasize this throughout everything I did. So when I was nine, I started tinkering with solar panels. And I came across this problem where... We really have a, um, we don't have enough of a balance between energy accessibility. It's not acting wholly on its own volition here. <laughs> Just as Greece has succumbed to international pressures from the IMF to pass austerity measures against the interests of its own people, so too has Greece unfortunately succumbed to international pressure by preventing the flotilla from setting sail. On behalf of Independent Jewish Voices Canada, I want to send a strong message to the Greek government. Let our people go. Let our people go. Boycott, divest, sanction until Israel complies with all violations of international law, until all Palestinians are free. That means right of return for all Palestinian refugees. That means end the occupation, return the land in West Bank and Gaza. Equality for all Palestinians and citizens in living in Israel. Suzanne Weiss is going to say a few words from Jews opposed to Zionism, not in our name, who we also know as Nyon. Suzanne. Okay, the government of Greece has forbidden the flotilla Hi, ladies and gentlemen, here is Oliver from Germany. I am now in Thuringen Forest. It's Germany's green heart. And only 22 years ago, this was a prison for a good portion of the German people, 16 million people who were imprisoned in the ex-GDR. And yeah, I'm very happy and grateful that we are able now and our kids to visit our entire country. When I was a child here, this part of the country was a no-go area and our kids enjoy the opportunity of visiting the entire country and that makes me very happy and grateful. In fact, when we first came here to East Germany in 1990, 1991, it was a mess. It was a real mess. Socialists have completed the work of world war two within their more than 40 years lasting regime compared to the mess we found yeah 20 years ago it's nothing nothing short of amazing what happened here in this country that's why it saddens me yes it really saddens me when i see Socialism rare its ugly head, yes, its ugly head throughout the world. Even in the country that is supposed to be the role model of capitalism and free enterprise, the US. It's a real shame. It seems that most people aren't able to deal with freedom. If you aren't able to deal with freedom, it will be taken away from you. But nobody will take freedom away from you by saying, well, I will take your freedom away from you. They will say, I will give you what? I will give you security, safety. That's the deadly poison, the deadly promise of socialism. 
freedom and security. Well, you can have both. You can have security on the foundation of freedom, but you can't have freedom on the foundation of security. Want proof? Well, what is the most secure place in the world? Prison. Yes, in prison you're safe, but you're entirely unfree. So, what's your choice? What do you value more? Freedom or security? And are you willing to pay the price to deal responsibly with the freedom that is given to you as a birthright? So, let me conclude by this. I am very happy that I am free. I am grateful that I am living in a free country, that I only need my passport, my credit card, my iPhone and my laptop to live and to do business. So, with that said, have a blessed day, take care, bye bye. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its dream, live out the true meaning of its dream. That all men are created. a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners, will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? Even the state of Mississippi, a state, what one day, sweltering with the people's injustice. Sweltering with the heat of oppression, be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. Freedom and justice. I have a dream. We'll one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Content of their character.
Let freedom ring, and if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the hiking Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring from the presence of smoke of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from the stone mountain of salt. But not only that, let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountain by. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of us children, black men and white men, one day, and, and, and sing in the words of the old Negro spirit, so free at last, free at last, and, and, and sing in the words of the old Negro spirit, so free at last, free at last, and, 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 and with this faith, we are